battle is very confusing and it is quite confusing, but basically each Pokemon has two attacks. If you tap the screen, it'll do its weakest attack. If you hold down on the screen, it'll do its strongest attack. You can also swipe left to right to avoid the opposition's attacks. Loads of you guys left comments about that. So let's take that newfound information and apply it to this gym battle. All right, boys, this is it, my friends. We're about to start the battle. Yo, this is mad. I'm going to absolutely smash this guy, like, no, not even joking. I'm going to go straight in with some basic attacks, I reckon. I'm going to let my attack meter build up. Yo! Is it down already? Yo! <laughs> look at that! Yo! -ho! It's mad! Oh my gosh! That dude got absolutely smashed. If you click on it now, you may have seen that. This gym now only has 159. So if you go in and take this Rattate on again, which will be like its final little battle phase, it's down to like the lowest rank it can be at. This should change from yellow now to our team to blue. So this is what you gotta do. You gotta keep on whittling down the opposition and the gym until it gets all the way down to zero. Yeah. Oh my god, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, baby. Let's, you know what I'm gonna do actually? I'm gonna leave it. I'm not gonna do an attack. I'm gonna do a charged attack. I'm gonna wait for my attack. Actually, no, I've got to hit him a little bit. Okay, chill, 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 chill. Chill. And okay, now charge attack. Yo, look at that. Aerial Ace. Yeah. That's sick. Nice. So cool. So look at that. The gym is now down to zero, which means it's now gone to a neutral gym, which means now Team Mystic, myself and Claire, obviously, can come along and we can then put a Pokemon in there. So I've got all these Pidgeottos, and these for me are basically just like Pokemon that I don't mind about too much. And I'm just going to throw into gym. So I'm going to throw this guy into the gym. I'm then going to turn this gym. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> that seems running a bit low. It's all good. I'm going to turn this gym to ours, which now means boom. It is Team Mystic. And now Claire can come along and also put in her Pokemon and make it even stronger. So we moved on to an amazing location. Look at this, two Pokestops here and a gym. And it's in this really cool park here. So again, I'm finding just really nice places nearby that we didn't even know existed. And if you see off in the distance, see those three Pokestops with, all oh, four Pokestops with a gym in the middle. That is actually where we went and did our very first gym fight a few episodes ago. So I think Claire and I are going to head back into those woods and do it again because it was such a cool location. So since getting here, guys, Claire has gone ahead and smashed the gym that was just underneath us, has now neutralized it, has claimed it as her own, so I can now join her. So here's the gym, now blue, baby. We are literally demolishing all gyms in the nearby area. She put a little raticate in there. So I'm going to do what I said earlier and basically just fill up with all the Pokemon I'm not massively keen on or just have duplicates of. So that's why I've got so many Pidgeottos. So that now will be a slightly better gym and will be ranked up a little bit. So it should be, I think, 4,000 out of 8,000 now. So it'll be harder to take on. Now, let me show you something. So if you go to the shop and you own a gym, make sure you're doing this, guys. In the top right, it'll have like a shield icon. And as you can see, I currently have three Pokemon in three gyms. So my goal for today is to get this as high as possible. We'll then cash out and for each Pokemon in a gym, we'll be given 10 Poke Coins and also some Mystic Dust as well. Yo, we have literally hit the jackpot here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 Poke Stops in this forest. And there's three gyms near us. Yo, look, we just spotted there's a wild pincer in this forest. 100%. He is getting caught today. So I came here for my very first Pokemon gym battle and we'll show you the gym. It is sick. But what do you think, like, just exploring all of these awesome places and finding Pokemon? at the same time. It's so cool. Like it's like we like going for a little walk. Yeah we love Even it. when she's a bit bigger we'll definitely come with us. Yeah. But it feels like you would actually like look up and find a Pokemon. Yeah, hundred percent. Like look at it. There's, there's trees everywhere. There's like little wooden benches cut out and carved away. It's awesome. We need to find this pincer and maybe take on the local gym as well. So to get both of these Poke Stops in one go for you guys, I'm literally standing amongst wild nettles. So appreciate that, right? Appreciate that. But the good news is, let's take a look at this first and just see what we get. We've got the amphitheater. Oh, two potions and a Pokeball. I need. I'd honestly like more Pokeballs than that, plus. But whatever you want to give me, I will take it. Yo, three Pokeballs. Nice, nice, nice. But the good news is the update on our Pokeball situation is that if we go to items I currently have almost 40 so we're well back on our way we're definitely capturing Pokemon as well guys don't worry so this is the gym you guys may recognize in this awesome hut here Claire loves it I love it but the problem is there's a 500 Pidgeot locking this place down my best is like 340 so I've got a little bit of a plan I can't really execute upon it quite yet but I'm gonna start it off so my Pidgeottos are starting to fill up those gyms quickly. And that Pidgeot, it's good, it's good. But that Pidgeot obviously started off as a Pidgey and it was nowhere near as strong as this 122 Pidgey. So what I'm gonna do is evolve this guy right here. And I don't quite, unfortunate enough yet to evolve the Pidgeotto that this is gonna become into a Pidgeot, but we may be able to do it soon. Hey, welcome to the squad. Now, what number is he gonna be? That is the question. I can't quite see it yet. Yo, so look at that. He's a 234 Pidgeotto. Look at that. There's at least a 60 difference between all of our other Pidgeottos. You can see why it's so sick now. So I need to get to 50 and once this guy gets to 50, he'll be a beast. Unfortunately, since this gym is so strong and it's a 500, you know what guys? Screw it. We're going to give it a go. I said I wanted to get as many gyms as possible and I can't be backing out of fights, alright? So we're going to give this a go with our full squad. Alright guys, so right here in the middle of this gym, I'm going to try and take this guy on. Remember, alright guys, let's just give us a shot. We've got six Pokemon to go through. I, I genuinely think we can do this. So I'm going to turn AR on so it's literally going to look like we're fighting here in the gym where we are right now. So it should look quite awesome. Yo, 
Yo, yo, okay, okay, Where, where's the battle? There's the battle, yo, okay, chill, 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 chill. It's all good, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, nice, 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 big, 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 big attack, big attack, big attack. Come on, Pidgey, come on, Pidgey, come on, Pidgey. Yo, this is good, this is fine, honestly, I know he's down, it sucks, but we've got him down to a lot. Dig, all right, Dig's not, yo, Dig's hitting him, and if that was real Pokemon, Dig would not be hitting, but it's all good, I'm not challenging it. I'm not, oh, God, okay, this is fine, this is fine. Pidgeotto, you may be a load weaker, but I trust in you. Come on, come on, buddy. Yo, let's go, that's gonna be it, that's gonna be it. That's gonna be it, sure he's down. Yo, what? How is he still attacking? How is he still attacking? What is going on right there? Yo! Oh my gosh, he almost died. Yes, look at that. So the gym is gone. A 500 Pidgeot. You know what the drill is right now. We're going to lock this place down. Claire's going to throw a Pokemon in there as well. And we're going to assign Team Mystic a brand new gym, baby. So just going to show you guys this really quickly. You can use items on your Pokestop. It's got little pink confetti everywhere. Claire's actually activated a lure. And what this does is it will mean that Pokemon will come to this Pokestop and it will just attract Pokemon for, was it 60 minutes? Yeah, I think so. For around 60 minutes. So everyone playing Pokemon Go can come to this area. So those guys who just met at the other gym, they could come here and take advantage of it. But for the moment, I'm going to take advantage of it and just grab this little drowsy right here. All right, guys, so I've never caught a Jinx before, and look what's turned up. So a brand new Pokemon, potentially, to add to the Pokedex. Now, what CP is it going to be? This is going to be a big 164. All right, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. Ooh, she's getting feisty. Look at her. All right, it's a yellow ring, so that means that's a great ball. <laughs> Again, it's frozen. If I come back here, it should still be here. Fingers crossed, I need this Jinx, man. All right, guys, just a tip. If any of you guys have had fun your app's freezing, boot up the app in airplane mode and wait for it to get to the Gyarados loading screen. So when it gets here, the loading bar will be really tiny and it should give you an error message saying no internet. Then scroll back up, turn airplane mode off, reconnect, and then it should boot up, fingers crossed, straight away, and you don't have to reopen and close the app over and over. There you go, it's loading. Boom, we're back in. Now, what has happened? Has that Jinx gone? Did I catch it? Okay, if we go to Pokemon... Yo, we got it! Yeah, look at that! Beautiful! So it may have glitched out, but we got ourselves a brand new Pokemon, Jinx. And in terms of XP, we are actually super close now to level 9. Guys, oh my god, the Electro Buzz is on zero, which means it has to pop out on me. Like, it's on me. Like, it is going to spawn on me any second. This is unreal findings right now. Bro, I'm not even kidding you right now. There's an Electro Buzz on my freaking car. Look at that. It's on my car. It's 254. We have found it. I need to capture it. So what I'm going to do is go into my pack, give it a raspberry. Yeah. Yo, so there we go, so it should be happier. Now, I'm gonna use a technique called spin throw. Throw it off to the left, bam, great. Oh my God, perfection, I swear to God. So I've given it a raspberry, I've given it a spin throw. It was a great throw. Yo, so Claire, Claire got hers as well. I got mine as well. Jinx and a freaking Electrobus. I barely seen anyone get an Electrobus. It was on my car, it was on my freaking car. How <laughs> unreal is that? Look at that, 254 Electrobus. I'm actually gonna power it up because I can't evolve it. So 282, so I'm gonna do it twice over. It's now gonna go up to 311, like that, like that. And then final time over, what's this bad boy gonna end up at? Yo, 339, that is so sick. And now our best Pokemon in our party. This is unreal, this is unreal. This game is too much fun. I love it. If you guys are enjoying it, smash that thumbs up. Pokemon Go is amazing. All right, guys, another new Pokemon. Today's been unreal. A Bell Sprout. I've never had a Bell Sprout before. I'm gonna go for a tactical spin throw. Oh, actually hit it. Yo, I thought that was miles off, to be honest. Inside the car. Is it gonna work? No. Okay, oh, this is gonna be tough. This is gonna be really tough, I reckon. Off to the side. That, that is lit. That is what I'm talking about, boys. Pokemon Master Throw right there. One, One two, three. Yo! This is great because this capture is going to give me 500 XP or 650 in total. For, so for great throw, I've got a bit of a bonus as well. And coming out of this, this will actually roll me over to level 9 as well. So if we go to the bottom there, we can see boom baby, level 9 now. So for that little bonus, we should get some nice little items as well. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time. This is a 5 kilometer egg, so not an amazing one, but could still be unreal. So what are we going to get? What are we going to get? What are we going to get? Ooh, a Meowth! I've never had a Meowth before. That is so cute. So another new Pokemon to add to the Pokedex. I've seen it before come up in my nearby Pokemon, but I've never caught one before. So kind of semi joining joining Team Rocket there by pulling a Meowth on our team. But again, oh, yo, a thousand XP for that hatch. That's unreal. So I'm actually just going to get rid of these rubbish two kilometer eggs and throw that in the incubator. And then hopefully, although to be fair, it will take a while. And then we're getting about over halfway actually to getting that 10 kilometer unreal egg hatch, baby. Okay, can you see me? Yeah, you want the Krabby on the car? Yeah, can you see me next to it? Yeah. Yo, guys, this is Krabby on my car. Literally, second Pokemon. What is it doing? <laughs> <laughs> right, so Krabby is a brand new Pokemon, so I need to actually capture this. All right, Krabby. One, one, two. I see you, buddy. 
Oh, that would have been lit. That would literally been the perfect throw as well. Sometimes they can deflect them, can't they? Oh, it's a miss. It's all right, guys. Though. I've got 77 Pokeballs. We've got so many for my adventure today. That's a good yeah. throw. That's a good throw. Let's see. Come on, fingers crossed. Another new Pokemon. One roll, two roll, three roll. Hey! hey. That's so good. This is unreal. Today's been, I think, for both of us, the most successful Pokemon Go day so far. For and sure. we're still looping around. We're trying to potentially find that Pinsir. But the day is definitely not over yet for hunting Pokemon. So we've moved location to a town near by and this very sweet lady just came by and we were like trying to work out where one of the poker stops was she's like oh you guys lost can i help you and i'm like no nah, don't worry we're, we're training pokemon it's all good but i've just found a nidoran for the very first time now it's only a 10 nidoran but a nidoran my friend is better than no nidoran okay well that was a terrible throw hey all right come on baby first nidoran it's only 10 cp but it's better than nothing another one to add to the pokedex if anything hey that is awesome i love nidoran i think it was the male version which obviously evolves into nido king and of course the female version evolves into nido queen and I obviously I'm gonna prefer Nido King, but they're both awesome Pokemon. If you look where we are at the moment, two lure modules in activation and also a Goldeen, Garthy, and Seal are somewhere to be found. Today has literally been unreal. 75 shoulder, alright? Chilling at a pub, getting some drinks, going to the toilet <laughs> to refresh for our Pokemon Go adventure. Let's see, can we get it? Yes, look at that boys, it's mad. So this is where we are right now. We're at a pub chilling, and there's two Poke stops right next to us, and they're both dispersing Pokemon. Like it, it's literally like we could sit here all day and get to level 100, I swear, it's unreal. Guys, it has taken long enough. You know that one of my ultimate Pokemon I want to capture in this series, or at least evolve to, is Gengar. My boy Gengar, and I've just, literally heading home, gone past a Ghastly, just managed to tap it in time, and we're going to try and get it. So I'm going to be super careful and feed it a berry. Now, we actually found a Ghastly on our, like, little mini-map in the very first episode. It's taken us until this episode to actually, potentially, potentially get it. Yo, the Pokeball's been thrown. It's gone into the ball. No! No, it's a glitch throw! I'm gonna have to reboot the app and just find out if I caught it. I will not know until I've rebooted the app. Guys, I can't believe it. It's not there. It's about 118. It freaking failed! And basically, the way that it works is that if you walk away from the starting Pokemon, they will eventually disappear and reappear next to you. The idea is to do this four times in total. And the fourth time at the start of Pokemon disappearing and reappearing, they will be joined with Pikachu. So that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna walk around Windsor, get far enough away from them to all disappear four times in total. I'll show you my screen when it does it and then try and capture Pikachu as our starting Pokemon. Okay guys, it's just done it once. You now know what to look for. Once it does that respawning animation once, you're looking for it four times in total. If you're wondering where we're filming, we're actually filming today in Windsor and that's where the, my full Pokemon Go episode will be recorded here today. So look out for it later. But for the moment, let's get these guys respawning three more times. There we go guys, the second time of it disappearing. Literally just walking from that first time to second time, I bumped into some of you guys. So there's people everywhere. People literally everywhere. This app is bringing people together and it's amazing. So two more times for it to disappear and then Pikachu will be there. Yo, it actually literally has just changed three times over. So to give you an idea of how far I'm actually walking to make this work, I'd say I'm walking no more than like 50, 60 meters. So I've only been walking for about five minutes. So you don't have to walk too far. I can worry about walking like five neighborhoods. It's not too much. So one more to go guys and then we'll be there. Right guys, this is the first time I've ever done it and the first time a lot of you guys will be seeing it. So the fourth time these guys reappearing, look at that on my screen right now. A freaking Pikachu is there, it's unreal. So I'm gonna click him and I'm actually gonna capture him right here in this park. It's such a cool location. So yo, look at that, look at that. All right, oh my gosh, you can see Claire on the camera. This is like the coolest, best location to catch a Pokemon ever. So I'm just gonna throw the Pokeball onto his head. There we go. Oh my gosh, when I first heard you get Pikachu at the start of Pokemon Go, I thought it was a hoax, I thought it was like fake, I didn't think it was real, but there we go. We have proven you can do it, my friends. And literally, we will be starting off Pokemon Go with a Pikachu. How awesome is that? So guys, now you can go and do it. You can tell your friends how to do it as well. It is really, really simple. Pokemon Go is just way too much fun. Of course, you want to see my continued adventure. There'll be another video out later today. Give it a thumbs up if you found it useful. Make sure you subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you guys later with more Pokemon Go.